What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about the unforgivable curses in Hogwarts Legacy and exactly how they're going to work because a lot of people are kind of curious if there's going to be a morality system in the game. And a lot of the trailers we've seen lately it shows players using unforgivable curses or you know it shows kind of the idea of what you could use in the trailers. And it's been revealed there will be no morality system in the game that punishes players for using the unforgivable curse. And one of the lead designers says, if you want to be evil, be evil. The game is not going to judge you for it. So the game is going to give you a lot of freedom. You're going to get a lot of freedom to play Hogwarts Legacy pretty much however you want. So you can decide to be a good wizard or you can decide to be a dark wizard uh, or use dark magic. And I think that is a really cool idea. Now when it comes to a lot of people out there they've been talking about or a lot of players wondering if it's going to be too much freedom is it going to be a bad thing because you're not going to be able to learn dark magic in uh in the school so you're not going to be able to learn them in your classes you actually have to go out and find these kind of dark magic spells out in the open world so you're not going to be able to learn these in classes you're still going to be able to learn you know, your normal things you would through the game. But if you want to be more on the darker side, if you want to be more evil, you can go out and find these things in the world too. Which I think adds another layer of playability to the game because you can have a playthrough where you're in, you know, one house and you decide to be good. And you can have a playthrough where you decide to be in a different house and be evil. I'm sure at some point it may kind of change how the story goes. I'm, I'm sure we're going to have different endings and, and different things throughout the story from the choices you make but the good thing, the thing that I like about it is if you decide to be evil, the game is not going to judge you for it. Now, it may change the outcome of some parts of the story going forward, uh, it seems. That that's kind of the idea they're going with, but it's not really going to judge you for being bad. Now, some people have been talking about they think it's going to be make the game too easy because they do talk about the unforgivable curses are forbidden for a reason, and they can cause great carnage and it will give you a leg up on your peers, which could kind of result in your player becoming overpowered. And some people think that if these are as strong as they sound, that may make the game way too easy. We'll kind of have to wait and see on that. That could be an issue. I understand why people are thinking about that or are talking about that in general. But I do think it's a very unique thing that, you know, you can go out and find these unforgivable curses out in the kind of wild. You have to seek them out is kind of how they worded it. You can learn the normal, uh, you know, different spells and potions and things in class and kind of decide where you want to go from there and not really be judged for it. And I think that's going to make for a very interesting game uh, to kind of give you that option to be good or, you know, be able to use that dark magic. And I think this will give players a really you know, unique way to play the game just overall. You're going to have that choice of what you want to be without really any consequences. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.